Hi everyone, I'm Jade and I'm back for another Wildlife Wednesday. Uh, today we are going to be talking about deer antlers and the difference between antlers and horns. So behind me I am standing underneath our antler archway going toward the deer and elk and bison enclosures. And some people wonder why or how we get all those antlers. Now they actually fall off of the deer and elk's heads every single year. So basically why that happens because in the fall time Typically when hunters are going to be out hunting for deer and elk, that's during the rut. And the rut is when the male deer are really excited and want to mate with a female. And they are full of testosterone. And then comes springtime, so exactly right now is the perfect time. Their testosterone levels will actually begin to drop dramatically, which causes those antlers to fall off their heads. Now the coolest thing about these antlers is that they regrow and fall off every single year. So typically in March, they're gonna fall off and they will begin to grow on their heads immediately after they fall off. And they are the fastest growing tissue in the animal kingdom and they can grow about one inch a day. Now behind me this archway is made of both uh, white-tailed deer and elk antlers and they both fall off every year whereas the difference between antlers and horns is that horns do not fall off. Antlers are made of bone or tissue and the um, horns are actually made or composed of keratin so same as our fingernails and our hair and they grow and they do not fall off. Another major difference is that the females, like female bison, actually grow horns as well, whereas female deer and elk do not grow antlers. The size and number of points on deer's antlers depend both on their age and how healthy they are. This set of antlers probably came from a deer that was about two years old because they're rather small. Next, we have an antler set that was from a deer that was at Oxbow many, many years ago. He died when he was 12 years old, so very, very old. And you can tell by his antlers, he just wasn't as healthy as he used to be. These next antlers came from a wild deer. We found these in the park. They were probably from a deer that was around maybe four or five years old based on the size. And then lastly, we have this skull from one of our deer that died in August. Now you can tell he died in August because he still has his velvet on his antlers.